Much, much, much later. Jada's gonna boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> much, much later. Denzel McBeth. Loved it! I love the part where it said, King Lear don't got nothing on me! <laughs> Y'all gotta see it, it's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> this, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Nick Mike's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watched them, like, you know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. So here we go. Here we go. trying to show y'all this because they looking good and it looks like it's glam it's not like that this shit is all about rituals demons babylonian gods and screwing a man in his ass you get in the music industry they start taking you on these crazy uh party trips and this is called the pandora box and why it's, while it's called the pandora box it's called because Everybody that's like a masquerade. And sometimes they don't have masks on, but sometimes they do. And you have a – I've said this in many of my blogs before, but let's just bring it up to par, right? They have masks on. They have androgynous there. They have she-he's. They have women dressed like men. I mean, you name it, it's there. And it's all the top Hollywood actors, models, singers, hip-hoppers. You name it, it's there. And they could be dressed in a disguise, so she was exposed to that. My God, I can't believe it. I can't be a part of that. Oh, what do what you mean you can't be a part of it? If you want your check, you want this Hollywood life, you would be a part of it, and you're not going to share these secrets. She thinks about that. She cried a little bit. They always cry, right? 
So she said, okay. She goes in this Pandora box, drogynous on her, man on her, woman on her. That's nothing, right? She thinking, I got that over with. So she didn't think it was nothing. She didn't really have to do nothing but men go kiss a little. She's used to kissing women. Here's the kicker. The three producers, the headliners, the guy who make Hollywood runs like it does, right, bring her to the upper penthouse tomorrow. So she thinking she getting ready to sign a contract. No, they want to pop her in her ass. And this is how they get down. They call it gravy. If you do get hurt, well, <laughs> that's just gravy. Now, now, everybody, other people may know you from Gravy and, and, and your music career. It, has this sparked the acting bug? Are we going to see you in a lot more roles following oh, yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is my newfound love. Music is my passion. And, you know, acting, I'm, I'm definitely getting ready to jump into it. Okay. That's a Hollywood slogan for people who just got popped in their behind. Well, how did it go, man? How's your career going? Oh, I can tell you right now, baby, everything's Gravy. There's been a lot of people that's got their letters on the fly. And they read all the, the you know the literature. They have them in a nice little room or a sweet hotel. It's real elegant. They do it really nice. And they let you read that letter and they tell you what you think. I ain't got no problem with this. Okay, sign right here. Now that's the beginning of the rituals of everything that's to come for you. All the doors gonna open for you. All the doors are opening. He ain't ready for what they gonna hit him with. We want you to meet some friends. Okay. I want you to take it personal because we know that you, you're about your business and you know how to make that dollar. We just, it's all business. Don't take it personal when you see what's up, right? They take them in this room and there'd be three, four dudes on another guy. And he may know the, he may know that dude in the business. They say, what you're about to see, nobody else knows. This is part of the ritual. You are not to speak about this. You're seeing these dudes transsexual, transgender, and they're all like lapping this one cat, right? That's the first test to see if you're going to buck. Why I'm telling you that? Because that's the first thing they did to cat. They took cat to all these private parties. Cat couldn't believe what he was seeing. Cat rebelled. Usually before they want to take you to the next level, they say, let's see what he's going to think when we take him here. A lot of dudes like, you know what? Fuck that, ain't got shit to do with me. It's all about the money. Well, it ain't all about the money because now what you saw done to that guy, it's your turn. And you're going to say, they're going to, hey, come on up in here. No, nah, man, I ain't down for that. Well, do you think we're going to keep paying you $5 million a year? Do you think you're going to be honors on BET? Do you really think we're going to keep putting your name in lights? This is, read the paper, man. Read, read the letter we gave you. See the letter we gave you, right? Stop bullshitting. Get, you're going to do everything that we just did to him. Either you do or we're going to break you. What you mean you're going to break? We're going to take all your money out your account. Oh, man, this bullshit. I got my rights. Nigga, you ain't got no motherfucking rights. We run this bitch. We, we decide who's going to be a star, who ain't going to be a star, who's going to be rich, who's going to be poor. Nigga, we do all of those things. Ain't nobody no fucking star. We decide who's going to be a star, who's going to be president, and et cetera. That's, where we, that's who we are. Now you know. Now you open. Now you see. Now you see that this shit ain't about no American Idol. This shit is deeper than American Idol. This is what you asked for. So what it's going to be, man? Come on, man. All of y'all. So he's already thinking about it. So he wound up sucking the one dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Now they Vaseline him up and pop him in his ass. And you're probably saying, that's bullshit. That's the way that shit goes. And then what they do, they videotape the shit. Why why, why would they want to videotape that? Y'all say to sell it later? No, to keep your mouth closed. If you knew you done took three men up the ass and sucked two off, and they're real important men. Now, a lot of times... What they'll do while they're doing this thing to you, the men won't be recognizable. They'll have either mask on or they'll just have their face blacked out. It's the truth. Why do you think they do it? They put that shit in a special index box because if you get out of line, nigga, they're going to say that you was a homosexual, you was a pedophile, you did things that never got caught, and they're going to put this crazy-ass video on you getting boned by men up your ass and taking sperm all in your face. I'm telling you how it goes. 
they they let they let me you know he did that Washington is not exempt from getting ran up in his ass either. So a lot of people say, well, he got shot in his ass, but don't mean he went up. Denzel Washington made $25 million picture. You can't make that kind of money if somebody ain't blowing you that's of the same sex. I'm just letting y'all know. Denzel Washington does not get a pass. Nobody in Hollywood gets a pass, and especially no Denzel Washington. Will Smith. Will Smith had a relationship with Bina Medina. Bina Medina ran the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Bina Medina went up to Will Smith so much, Will Smith should be his wife, okay? Quincy Jones did pop him, fool. He did pop him. Bina Medina had him too. Every t- they're all part of the same rituals, man. It's just not no one man thing. They pass you around just like a little woman. If you want to go in Hollywood, it's just not going to be one guy get you. They're going to pass you around, all of them, because it's from one, it, it escalates from one step to the other. It's one, two, I don't give a damn. It's never over. Every time you do something, it's not like, okay, it's done. You did it the first time. Now, what you want to do, the, the, the sky's the limit. No. You want, a, you want a cologne line, a perfume line? Okay. It take you back to that room and do it all over again. That's why they have rituals. If, if, a, if a mason who's moving higher up in a mason brotherhood, he has a daughter, he knows the rules. Somebody in the brotherhood wants your daughter. She could be 12, 13 years old. You try to persuade your daughter to have sex with him so he can be, be, be with her and have a child with her. And he said, will you sit down with Ted? And so I sat over with Ted Kennedy. He's sitting right next to me. Mm-hmm. And Ted and I are, to talk, you know, he's just joking. He said, George, you're going to love this job. You're really good with money. We're going to send you out to all the state Democratic functions to raise money for the National Democratic Party. And he said, you're going to meet some real foxy ladies. And just then... My daughter walked in. Mm-hmm. Ted looked at her and he says, wow, I want to go to bed with that. I says, no, you don't, Ted. That's my daughter and she's 14. And his response to me was, I don't care. Okay, so anyway, back to the female. Because they do the men bad, but they do the women work. Do the women better because the women got more holes, more holes to insert. And then they have the women. You got some freaky women in the business. Oh, let's not even talk about Queen Latifah. So they dogged her too. But did y'all know that Queen Latifah also initiate women before they go to the next level? But she puts on a strap on. Let's talk about Monster Ball. Monster Ball, Holly Berry was, um, if y'all saw the film, Holly Berry was butt naked. When they did that film, Willie Bob Thornton went up and for real. That was a real scene when she was talking about make me feel good. That was a real scene, y'all. That was a real scene getting down. They did not fake that. They gave her Academy Award because she did a great job for the sisterhood. They didn't give her a good. They didn't give her that award because she was just so of a dominant actress. That that role was degrading. And when they say, if this was so of a great role for Holly Berry, why come they didn't give her Tom Cruise? Huh? Why they Why come they didn't give her a man, uh, uh, George Clooney? Right? Who that dude that uh, Angela, um, Angelina Jolie married to? Brad Pitt. Why can't they let her sleep with Brad Pitt in that scene? Because those men, of a, they have a higher statue. That's an American white man for white women. They wouldn't dare let some men with that statue sleep with Holly Berry because Holly Berry is degrading to them. So they go get a country ass hit like Billy Bob Thornton and say, you run up in them. Y'all feel how it goes. So even though it's supposed to be a huge role, they still cut you down. Because everything that you ask for, every time they take you to another level, they want to pop you again. And remember what I said, they call it gravy. That's gravy because they know that you paid your dues to get where you at. And when they have them Academy Awards, they just pretty much playing with each other. Like, uh, let's give uh, – let's – Give Alicia something. She's been a good whore for the last four years. Let's give her one. <laughs> it's sad, man. There's a thing, there's a porno site called Ghetto Gaggers. Now, I want to throw this at Israel. Where do you think they got the terminology Ghetto Gaggers from? Now, walk with me when I'm talking to you. I'm not telling you to go there to try to get off. I'm trying to tell you there's a concept behind the terminology ghetto gaggers, okay? The way that they brutalize them women, 
with men penises and the way they dog them out and make them throw up on themselves, that is exactly what goes on behind the door. So you ask yourself, I thought they just made us some stuff to so it would be gross and, and get some money. What you all don't understand, a lot of these producers that's in the porno business, a lot of those dudes that do porno movies, they go to the green door. They go to the Pandora's box. They are invited to these shows. Did y'all understand? When they get ready to break Fantasia in, somebody was there. You get me? That was in the porn industry. When they got ready to break Alicia Keys in, somebody in the porn industry was there. Because every time they break these new black women in, they dog them. And they dog them bad. Man, they have three or four penises in their women's mouth, anus, everything that they, any hole they can put in, that's what they do. And that's how they came up with the concept, ghetto gaggers. What people don't understand, that really goes on in Hollywood, how they do that black woman in order for her to go to the next level. It just done ran Tony Braxton out of her damn mind. She's shaving the side of her head like that woman who drink blood. The last woman who did that was Cassie, and Cassie is gone. Cassie is a P. Diddy slave. Did y'all know that? She is his slave. Oh, yes, she is. Every time you see Cassie with P. Diddy, she got her head down. She's carrying bags. She's the mop-up girl. When P. Diddy want to impress him, he's bringing on, he let Cassie go down on him. He let that dude pop her in the butt, and P. Diddy sit back and masturbate while she's being ran in by his partners. Did y'all know that? I'm telling y'all some true Hollywood insider, brother. It gets down like that. That's the way they roll. And if you're a woman, especially if you're a sister, you come in with all that attitude, they're going to they're gonna tur- they're gonna rip you apart. The first thing they're going to do is break you. They're putting it right in your face. Face like, okay, we worship the devil. We we you know we we down with the bow for me. Okay, we we, we do lesbians and gay and you know, you know we do a little song song. What? What's it gonna do? What? Because you know why they're so bold with their truth because they know majority of the people in society are so dumbfounded and so beat down on these jobs that they'll take anything. And they do not have your best intentions. Like I told you in the early segment, they have to keep negativity, negative energy to make money. If everybody's happy, people are going to start thinking. Okay? People are going to start thinking. If people start thinking, then people start asking questions. And then when they start asking questions, the questions can't be answered. Now you got a society of people waking up. They can't have that. 